pray for me. Hopefully we like it. <laughs>today i'm here with yet another book haul because like always your girl has no self-control when she goes to the thrift store so i have a total of 11 more books to share with you guys so without further ado let us get started first two books that i have are part of the same series they're the third and fourth book of the series so the series is pushing the limits by katie mcgarry but i have crush into you and take me on obviously by Katie McGarry. I have not read the first two books. I own them. So now I have the entire series. So we're going to marathon them. I believe that they're new adult romancy, contemporary, you know, romantic shit. We're going to read these after we've read a couple murder, murder, stabby, stabby books because sometimes, you know, you need a break from the murder, murder, stabby, stabby. The next book I have is Losing Leah by Tiffany King and this is like a kidnapping story. When it first came out it was on one of my most anticipated release videos and I just was so excited when I found it in the thrift store so I'm definitely going to be picking this up ASAP. It's like a psychological thriller kind of thing and you girl into that shit so we love a good kidnapping. No we don't. Don't kidnap people but we like a good kidnapping story where it is resolved and everybody goes back home. There you go. The next book, I was so excited when I found it because it is one of my most anticipated releases for, I think, December 2018 it was. I found it in the thrift store and I was like, oh. <gasps> Oh my god! But it is The Girlfriend by Michelle Francis. It's about this woman named Laura who has like the perfect life and she has a 23 year old son who ends up dating a girl named Cherry and Cherry doesn't come from a very luxurious life so she meets Laura, the mother, who lives a very luxurious life and plans to take it over and I just like how is this gonna work because if you're dating the son how are you also gonna be his mom? Like it's a lot but I'm intrigued. I'm excited, so we gotta read this soon as well. The next book I got solely because Harry Potter. <laughs> it's Harry Potter and The Cursed Child, the play, you know? A lot of people hated this. I still have yet to read the entire Harry Potter series. I'm on number five. So once I finally finish that series, then we will read this and hopefully I like it better than other people, so we'll see, I guess. But. It's in my possession, so I'm excited. Next book I have is a fourth book in a series. I own the first three, so I found this at the thrift store and I was like, ka-ching. Now we have almost the full set. I believe that there's five in the series, but it is Tiger's Destiny by Colleen Hoek. Huke. I don't know how to say that, but this, again, like I said, is the fourth book in the series. The first is The Tiger's Curse. I don't remember what two and three are, so... Sorry, look it up on Goodreads. Yeah, next book, oh my god, when I found it in the thrift store, I squealed like a little girl, but it is An Unwanted Guest by Sherry LaPena, and this was on my most anticipated releases when it first came out, and I absolutely love Sherry LaPena and her writing. She wrote The Couple Next Door as well, which I loved both of those, so I'm very excited for her next book. I'm gonna read it and hopefully love it as much as I loved the other two books. The next book I picked up because the movie came out last year, and it is A Simple Favor by Darcy Bell. I watched the movie. It's Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick two of my favorites and I loved it so much so when I found it at the thrift store I was like we need it because we want to compare the book to the movie because the movie was stellar. If you haven't seen it go watch it. It's great. It's like a psychological thriller, two best friends, the one is like insane and then the other one's like super naive and then it like twists happen and shit goes down and it is just a grand old time. I loved it. The next book I have, it was super popular when it first came out on booktube but I never actually saw a lot of people talk about it. It was more they just hauled it and then it was never seen again. But it is All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. Like I said, I don't know if it's good or not because nobody ever talked about it other than showing it in a haul like I am but hopefully I'm actually gonna read it and then 
be able to say if it's good or not. So stay tuned for that, I guess. All I know is that the story is like told backwards from like day 15 all the way to day one from when this girl disappeared and it, that just intrigues me. I'm interested. I'm excited. So we're gonna read it. The next book, I literally cried when I found it in the thrift store because she wrote the night film and I loved that book so much and she hadn't released another book in like a million trillion years and she finally released one and I was like we're never gonna find it in the thrift store it's super popular and then it was at the thrift store it's Never World Wake by Marisha Passell like I said I cried and I'm so excited to read this and I'm hoping that I'm gonna love it because I'm gonna be really disappointed if I don't because like Night Film was one of my top books of 2017 so if if we hate this, I disown myself. The final book I have was really popular when it first came out. The sequel was really popular when it came out, but your girl is finally reading it. It is War Cross by Marie Lu. I've tried to avoid people talking about this book because I was like, I need to read it myself because so many people love it so much. So I'm really, really hoping that I like it too because it's gonna be really awkward if I hate it and then you're all gonna come for me and I'm sorry in advance if I do because I usually hate overhyped books and this is pretty hyped. Alright guys so those were the 11 books I got at the thrift store this time around. Let me know down below if you've read any of these, what you thought of them, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!